Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about astrophotography's most underrated piece of gear. That is the headlamp. Oh yeah, the headlamp. Now, I've been searching for the right headlamp ever since I started astrophotography. I actually thought I had it. I, had, I started using my old hiking headlamp, which was about 15 years old, and actually that one was pretty much close to perfect, but I ended up breaking it at the end of, well, the middle of my year two in Astro. I then picked up this uh, Amazon really cheapy, uh, really cheapy, super cheap <laughs> headlamp that was just red only. And this worked out for a little bit, you know, it had low, medium, high red settings, but I started to really not appreciate it that much because it was a lot to manage on top of my head. It just looked like as I was filming, there was just a bunch of wires on top of my head and there was this big box that, you know, held the batteries and it took alkalines, right? But I put rechargeables in them and it only lasted like four hours, which wasn't a lot. So I was charging a lot because I would easily spend four hours imaging. And sometimes I'd run out of juice, so I'd have to carry extra batteries. So, searching for a better headlamp, I wanted to make sure it was rechargeable and had a lot of battery life. And that's when I found the Coast WPH-30R headlamp. And it looks like this. It's a thousand lumens, actually. And it's super bright, so it has white and red light. Red <laughs> red light on it. Red light, as astrophotographers, we're going to be using it all the time. But the spotlight or the white lights, actually I use more than I thought I would. And I mostly use it for safety. I like to spot what's around me when I hear a noise. And also for some reason, sometimes I get, should I say, characters running up on me in the middle of the night. And these are all places where aren't really easily accessible, but yet some people roll up there and it actually keeps me safe having this bright spotlight uh, to spotlight them. So it's, it serves a couple purposes. But let me read you the specs on this coast and I just wanted to share this with you because if you are like me and you're searching for the perfect headlamp, you know, I think this is something you should try. Also, before we get into it, if you have a favorite headlamp, because I'm open to suggestions right now, uh, please put it down in the comments of what you use and I'll definitely check it out. All right, and because the Coast has so many features, I'm just gonna read it off the back, all right? So the Coast is IP68 waterproof, so you can wear it in the rain, drop it in a puddle or whatnot. It's not gonna affect it. Uh, and it's also rechargeable and it comes with a 18650 battery, which I like. And the way that it's situated in here is if you unscrew the top of it, and pull it out, here it is. And Coast has their own version of this. I don't know, this is, my camera is definitely not, there it is. Kind of. <laughs> Darn camera. Anyways, take it from me. This is an 18650 battery. This is Coast version, and they call it a Zithion, Zith Ion X. But you can definitely put in any 650 in there that you want. Alternatively, it'll take two CR123 batteries, which is super cool because, say, your 18650 dies and you know you just can't locate another one for some reason those type of cells are available at most grocery stores and it'll take up to two even though they're super super duper expensive has a built-in USB charge port which I like so you don't even have to take the battery out to charge it and basically there's just a cap right here and as you unscrew it, you'll reveal the charge port. All right, let's try this again. Maybe it'll focus on there. Ah, there it is. Pretty cool, right? 
And also it'll tell you when it needs to be charged. And there's a little button here on the side to turn it on, right? And you'll see this light up here. And it'll start flashing when it needs to be charged. Pretty cool. Also, uh, it has the headband, which is fully adjustable on someone's head. And I can adjust it up or down. It's got a nice satisfying click on there. Look, I look ridiculous right now, but it's really comfortable. You know what I mean? Uh, it's got a lot of give to it. You can honestly cinch it up a little bit more depending on your cranium size. And I like it because it's a lot simpler than my other setup. Because my other setup, man, it just, I had a bunch of wires on, you know, hanging off me all the time. I hated it. Uh, you can also detach it from the headband. So it just comes out like that. And you can set this down where you need it. So you need it right there. And you can turn on the light and spot anything you want, which is definitely pretty cool. So let's take a look at the specs. Okay, so here we are. It's got uh, three light, or actually four light modes. So you got a pure beam, which is the lowest setting. That one is 54 lumens. And 54 lumens on the pure beam, uh, it will last 23 hours. That's a lot. And honestly, the pure beam mode on this coast is more than enough to light anything up. As astrophotographers, we don't need the brightest light, like I said. Um, it is nice for safety, but those spot and floodlight options just aren't gonna be used that often. And for me, it's if I hear something in the bushes, because I got a lot of wildcats out here, and also there are bears out here as well. I know, right? Where do I live? <laughs> um, it's also got a bullseye beam, and it's just a concentrated beam of light, which I dig. And then it's got the spot and flood, which is the thousand lumen mode. Oh, and the bullseye beam, it says here, is um, 600 lumens, which is pretty bright. Now, it doesn't say how many lumens the red light consumes, but, you know, I can tell you this. I can image for five nights straight, and on the fifth night, uh, I, will need, I, I will definitely need to charge it. This will start flashing on me. So it, it lasts quite some time. And, just, and because it has a USB-C cable input, it's really easy to charge, especially when we're out there. Also comes with this cable, and what I like about the cable is I can charge it, right? So it goes up like that. I uh, charge, insert the charging cable here, and I can plug in either my phone to this end. Uh, it's just kind of a daisy chain cable, which is nice. So this isn't gonna tie up, like if I only have one USB input, it's not gonna tie up that one input because I have this neat little cable that allows me to plug something else into it, which is super cool. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. How easy is it to get to the red light mode? Well, it's pretty easy to tell you the truth. So if you double click it once, double click it once, that doesn't make sense. If you double click the button, one, two, uh, the red light pops on and you can actually activate it at any time, right? Also, if you hold down the button, full, <laughs> this is the full brightness, full 1000 lumens here. I'll aim it down real quick. Uh, if you hold it down, it just has a quick little turn on, which is great. And then you can cycle through your options too. So if I tap it once, uh, that's actually going to be the, what is it? Uh, spotlight beam it looks like and then I tap it again and this is still the spotlight beam sorry okay this one here is your low setting right this is kind of the wide um, I don't want to say wide field like wide field astrophotography but it's not but it just has a wider beam 
And as you see, this is it's pretty darn bright, right? And I dig it. What else? Did I mention that uh, this is IP68 waterproof? I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> well guys, that's the Coast WPH30R. It's about $50, I got mine on Amazon. Let me know in the comments if you liked this headlamp and if you're gonna try it out. Or let me know if you're using something different. That way I can check out what you're using out there in the field and maybe it's something that I'll get for myself. Like I said, I'm always searching for the perfect headlamp and I just haven't yet found one. I like this one. This is as close to perfect I, for me, I think that I can get, but uh, I am open to suggestions. Right guys, well I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.